A lot of the commentary on the Democrats' convention was that it was very negative. It was right. very much attacking it, it Trump, was dark. Trump, Trump, Trump. It was time. dark. Right. I agree. What are we going to see from your party next week? Well, I think we're going to see something that is going to be very uplifting and positive. That's what I'd like to like it to be. I think you have to defend yourself by talking about some of the lies, like when he says Social Security. I don't think he knows too much about Social Security. Uh, when he, I mean, basically, he said he's not going to give the, the big tax reduction that we're giving for people, which is a lot of money, and you have to do that. You need some stimulus during this period of time. The economy is roaring back. It's coming back. We're going to be talking about the economy. We're going to be talking about the military, what we've done and where we're going, because we need a strong military. They don't want to have a strong military. But those are the, I just wanted to get a sense from you. What's the overall message? What's the I think big, it's positive. Why should people vote for you? Yeah, I think the overall is, is going to be uh, a very positive as opposed to a dark, a very, very positive message. And, um, positive on the economy. We're going to have a great year next year. You know, people find it hard to believe. You've seen the numbers. They all said, oh, we're not going to have a V. Well, the way we're going, we're going to have a super V. And we haven't even gotten the additional stimulus that the Democrats should have approved, and they probably will, because I think they have a lot of political pressure. But no, I think it's going to be a very, very positive uh, So you've, ta you've talked a lot about getting back to where we were. Right. The, the great economy, the the facts are there on that. People can see that. And they experienced it. But what do you want to get done if you're reelected in the next four years that okay. you weren't able to do in the first I'd love years? to see school choice education-wise. It takes care of itself. It's the ultimate thing. I believe you're a fan of school choice, but Very much the so. Democrats are totally not. Well, most importantly, parents are. Well, the they parents know are. The parents it's better are. for their children. The parents are. And so school choice is one thing. Education is very simple. School choice. And let the parent go and decide. And also, for instance, if they're going to close these schools, I just left Pennsylvania. The whole state is closed up. North Carolina, they have it all closed up. By the way, their numbers aren't any better than other states. So in right. many cases, they're worse. But you'll probably open up everything on November 4th. Anything they can to make the economy as bad as possible. But they're having a hard time with it because the numbers are so good. So what can you do at the, the federal level? Because a lot of that school you know, the money and the way it's run, it's done at the state and local level. What could you do as president? Well, one of the things I did, which nobody ever talks about, is I saved the historically black uh, colleges and universities. They were in big trouble, and I saved them. Nobody wants to talk about that. Uh, oh, President Obama did not do it, and Biden didn't do it, and people didn't do it. So I think that's an important thing. At least I can say it, because we get no credit, and we should get a little credit for doing certain things. Um, we are working with every educational group in the country. We are working on our schools. We want uh, very, very strong, uh, and you know, I've been very, very strong on choice, and we've got a lot of choice going. But this is where we can get students to, instead of failing horrible schools, where you see some of the statistics in New York where, yeah. I mean, people can barely read after they get, up high, get out of high school. They can't pass the simplest of tests. So uh, education's a big factor. It's going to be a big factor for me. So let's talk about the, the economy and China. And I want to put those subjects together, because um, so much of what went wrong with the economy, which you ran on in 2016, was the fact that the jobs went to China and so on. As you look ahead to the next four years, if you're reelected, what's going to be your overall attitude towards China? OK, well, look back for the last three and a half years. I'm the only one that ever took on China. And you saw the intelligence reports where they say China is working hard to get Joe Biden elected. If he gets elected, China will own our country. I've taken billions and billions, tens of billions of dollars in taxes out of China. I gave them to our farmers because they targeted wrongly our farmers. They thought that would put pressure on me. They could get whatever they wanted. So they target us, and it's no good. So if you look at um, what we've done with China, nobody's ever done to but China. Are you going to be tougher in the next four years with China. The, a lot of people, I've, I've been one of them, that said, you know, why do we, why are we there at all? Why don't we disengage? Why don't we bring... Decouple. The, exactly. What do you so, think? look, I don't want to set the world on fire right now on your wonderful show, which I watch all the time, okay? But I made a great deal with China. You see that. They're buying billions and billions of dollars of, you know, manufactured goods, but also our farmers more than they've ever done. 
But with all of that being said, it's no longer the same to me. It's no longer the same. There's been no country that's ripped us off more than China. And by the way, the European Union is no beauty either, okay? They treat us terribly too. But there's been no country that has ripped us off like China for many, many years, for decades, where we'd lose anywhere from 200 billion to 500 billion, with a B, billion dollars a year. We rebuilt China. I give them all the credit because they were smarter than our presidents and smarter than our representatives. But I've stopped it. I've, they had the worst year they've had in 67 years. This was the worst year prior to the plague coming in. They had the worst year, and we had the best. But and it sounds like in the future, I mean, your, your team has shared with me um, the, the key policy points of your second term agenda. There's a lot to talk about there. One of them is about bringing back jobs well, even bringing more than before. Well, you're incentives asking, for American companies. But you're asking an even more interesting question. Would you decouple? Okay, that's what you're really asking. Would you decouple? That's a very interesting question. Because so far, we've got nothing out of China. I was going to ask you that. What do we get out of We get nothing. All we do is lose money. Right. I said, the easiest money, I said to people, you want to make money, decouple from China, $500 billion. 